Hello and welcome to another Secret Technology Quick Tip. Today we're going to be showing you uh, some software that we wrote here at Secant Technology to accommodate a client uh, who does a lot of tube bending applications. Um, so let's get started and just show you how this application works. We'll just create a new file. We'll do a part inch. And uh, the way the system works is we allow you to automatically place in XYZ coordinates and a radius uh, all of the dimensions for a particular tube. So if you have the XYZ information, uh, we'll just let's just make something goofy here. We'll just kind of start out at zero zero zero, and uh, we'll go to zero. I don't know. We'll just go straight up. Zero five, and then we'll do a two inch radius there, and let's go to I don't know. 2 comma 2 comma 10 and we'll do a 2 inch radius there and then let's go to uh, uh, we'll stay on the same X and maybe go to 8 and stay on the same Z and uh, here's our outside diameter and our inside diameter and we'll tell it OK and it will create the tube for us so you can see there it's created a nice little 3D tube. Nothing terribly exotic about that, but you know, it's useful. One of the nice things that we do have inside this tool is if we pick the XYZ coordinates again, it automatically pulls up all of those values again. And if we want to, we can come in here and just change these uh, radiuses, or radii I should say, on both of those corners, maybe to 0.5. And it will recreate the tube. You can see it's brought those in. Uh, nicer as well. Now the way it works is it actually comes in here and creates a tube and it doesn't fully dimension it. It does dimension all the radiuses uh, radii again and the uh, angles between the parts. So just to give you some ideas there. Um, it was just something useful that they wanted on that particular on this particular package. We can add additional stuff to this if you want. Uh, obviously we have to charge for that. <clears throat> we are selling this package to the general public for $250 per seat. Um, and so if you're interested, be sure to drop us a line after you watch the uh, rest of the video. One of the other interesting things that we can do with this tool is import in existing uh, data. So let's pull in something like, uh, I don't know, let's just go grab a CSV file here. Sure. And it recalculates everything here. We tell it OK. And it makes a much more complicated tube in this case. And here we can go in and use another function of our tool, which is a DXF export. And uh, here we can tell it. I'm not going to compute the center intersection. We'll show you that here in just a moment. Um, we can pick on this tube path here, and it's going to save it out there. Oops, we need to save our file first. So let's go save that first. Let's save as, and let's call this uh, X tube or something. I don't know, something exotic like that. And let's go ahead and do the DXF export again on this and this is the uh, layer I guess it doesn't really say that on there but that's the layer that says it there enter the layer name for the uh, entities in the DXF thing in this case we did uh, CEN for center because a lot of the CNC bending machines use that so let's go ahead and tell it OK and let's go in here and open up our draft site and let's go grab a DXF file it's called Xtube you can see here, well, it may not be obvious. Let's go in here and go to View. It's created the 3D DXF for us, uh, which, again, a lot of the CNC bending machines will utilize and uh, are able to uh, take that information and create the bins for. And if we regen the file there, you can see it's worked a little better. Okay? Now, let's uh, go back and do one of the other things that we can do with this package, which is to import the data from the SimCore supervision uh, uh, coordinate measuring system uh, or it's actually a tube inspection system as well uh, let's go grab this uh, again we just use the same method here 
we can import uh, supervision files and I don't know let's just grab something here I have no idea what these are but let's see and we'll tell it okay you'll notice it auto uh, gets the uh, diameter and inside diameter there as well and uh, okay so there's that tube it's created for us and we'll save this file go to our DXF export this time we will compute the intersection we'll grab the uh, tube path here and again this is on just the CEN layer we'll tell it OK it's just that fast and let's go over here and open up that same DXF except now it has different results in it we'll open up Xtube again here in this case it's computed the intersection uh, which some of the CNC bending machines require um, let's go look at this real quick All right. so just uh, thought we would share this since this was a tool that we wrote for a customer uh, we also do other customization uh, things inside of SolidWorks as you require be sure to just drop us a line and uh, as always we appreciate all the kind comments and the unkind comments uh, on our channel and uh, appreciate all the questions and things that you have as well um, again this little package we're selling for $250 and uh, if you're interested in it, be sure to drop us a line and just say you're interested in the the uh, tube package thanks again